everybody. We are here with a transportation race from Disney World to Universal. That's right. We are starting here at the Transportation and Ticket Center, the gateway to the Magic Kingdom, and we're taking three different modes of transportation to get all the way to Universal Orlando. I'm going to take a ride share. I'm going to drive my car. I'm taking a city bus. You can take a city bus. Yeah. <laughs> we got the necessities. <laughs> That's right. Cheers. This cheers. is a Joffrey's group. <laughs> this, this is a Joffrey's group. Definitely now and we forever. Are not we are not Starbucks clowns. No. Just kidding, Starbucks. I love you. I appreciate you frequently. Okay, this is it. Go, go catch Here your bus. Go. Good luck. Go luck. catch your bus. He could win. Have fun. Yeah, you're good. You, you never, never know. Win. He could win. Team links. See you at the Universal sign. All right. See you there if I can find it. Okay, we are headed on the Lynx bus from the Transportation and Ticket Center to Universal Studios. We have one transfer at the Lynx Central Station will be very interesting. A lot of people don't know that you can actually catch a city bus, a Lynx bus here from the transportation and ticket center to pretty much anywhere in Orlando. We are taking the 300 from the TTC this morning. I scoped out where the stop is so I would be prepared and here we go. He's not gonna win. All right. Where are you? Where are you going? I'm headed to Jafar 307. Don't you wish you were in here? Okay. <laughs> headed back to my car, which is in Jafar 307. The parking trams are running at Magic Kingdom, but I haven't seen one today. I think because they're still just parking the closest lot, um, but they are back and they are running. I usually still walk because I'm usually faster than a parking tram on my feet. But I know a lot of people, especially at the end of the day, it's like, you've been walking all day. You don't want to walk anymore. Get that parking tram. No word yet on when Epcot and Hollywood Studios trams will be back, but Animal Kingdoms came back as well. So the sign says charter bus lot. There isn't an actual sign for the Lynx bus. You just have to know where it is and where it is, is going to be right here. There can be multiple buses, Lynx buses arriving at the same time, so you have to look for the number on the bus. All right, so for the first few hours of the day, you're gonna wanna be at the lift station before you call your Lyft or Uber, because there's gonna be a lot of people dropping, getting dropped off for Magic Kingdom and not a lot of people leaving. So I highly recommend not ordering your lift before you're ready to be picked up. You well. can find the lift pickup at the Transportation and Ticket Center. And um, you do have to, if you are taking a lift to Magic Kingdom, you are going to have to hop on the ferry or the monorail. You'll get dropped off where people park or where non-Disney buses drop. You won't get dropped at the gates of Magic Kingdom. Now, I'm going to be using Lyft today because Lyft actually has a partnership with Disney. I found that on Disney property, lifts are typically a little bit easier to get and a little bit cheaper. However, I always recommend having both Lyft and Uber downloaded, especially when you're on vacation, because sometimes one of them is just going to be massively cheaper than the other or massively faster. I've paid a couple dollars more for Uber because it was going to be a five minute wait versus a 20 minute wait for a car. So definitely have both apps downloaded, compare before you commit, but this morning we're not going to have a long wait, we're going to use Lyft. One thing that's very tricky. About coming to a Disney park. Just remember where you parked your car if you are using your own vehicle or a rental car because there are over 12,000 spots in this parking lot alone at the Transportation and Ticket Center. There's multiple different lots. There are heroes and villains but you don't want to be caught wandering around outside looking for your vehicle. So I like to text a friend what character and row I parked in or I like to take a picture of it but Worst case scenario, if you can remember approximately what time you parked and you come out and you're lost, wave down a parking cast member. They can radio and say, hey, what, what rows were we parking around 1015? And they can get that answer for you and help you find your car. Additionally, if you ever have like a flat tire or car doesn't start any kind of car trouble, flag them down or flag security down who's roaming the parking lots and uh, they can help jump your car figure out any kind of issue you've had. I've literally had to have them help me jump my car in the parking lot before. There I am, just waiting for the bus. Just waiting for the bus. Right behind me is the Four Seasons Resort bus. That's not the bus that we're taking today. I wish it were. Just 
just looking for my car. Where are you? I texted. We live in Quincy, my car parking spot, bro. But I think I was on the wrong side of it. So as you can see, tons of cars are available right in this area on the lift app. Um, I might be able to even get my car before Molly makes it back to her car at Jafar. And uh, I'm headed to Universal Studios ride app drop off, set destination, and then there's my route. Yeah, pick up in one minute, pick up in two minutes. And it looks like right now the pricing is going to be $26 to $22 for a standard lift. And you can see the pricing kind of varies depending. The highest it would be would be about $100 for a Lux Black XL, but I do not need that. I need a base lift. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, pick up in two minutes sounds fine. I'm going to do select lift. Uh, confirm Magic Kingdom Park lift pickup at the TTC. Uh, no, I don't need to ride in style. Confirming. Sure enough, my driver is literally right next to me, so I'm not going to film his information, so it's going to be private, but I'm going to find him. Searching. 25 minutes. Let's go. Oh, music. I almost forgot. It's what we leave behind. It all comes down to right now. It's up to us. So what are we going to be? T-E-A-M team. Gotta work it out to them all. This is the last chance to get it right. This is the last chance. I have spotted our Lynx 300 bus. It is making its way. Um, all right, so I obviously didn't talk in my list because I didn't want to bother my driver, but I'm going to talk now and edit it in later. So basically, one thing to keep in mind is when you are in a lift, you are going to hit traffic. We certainly hit a little bit of traffic here on the ride. Not really anything to write home about. And of course, a lift might be able to navigate traffic a little bit better than a city bus. I'm not sure. Um, and maybe better than Molly. Your driver might be a little a little wilier, but you don't know. You also have to keep in mind that Lyft and Uber do have surge pricing. So if you are uh, traveling at a more busy time, you are likely going to need to pay more as there are fewer drivers and it's just a supply and demand situation. Lyfts and Ubers can get very expensive around Disney World and Universal. I've seen them up in the $60 range um, just to go to my house, which is right by Disney from Universal. So they can definitely get up into the $50, $60 range for the same route even though I only paid $23 today. A big bonus of taking a ride share over your own car is that I will not have to pay for parking. Now Molly has an annual pass, so she won't either today, but if you have a rental car or if you're coming to Universal without an annual pass, parking is $27. My lift here today was 23. So it's a big bonus that you don't have to pay for parking. It's convenient that I won't have to go to my car later and I can just go hop on another ride share. But there are inconveniences as well, like the fact that I'll have to pay another $23, if not more, to get back to Disney when I'm ready to go back tonight if I were staying there. So that's, you know, you're in the $40, $50 range for your transportation today, which is going to be the most expensive of these options, even when you think about parking fees. All right. Took me like three minutes, but I'm officially out of the actual parking lot. I want to point out the Speedway gas station right here. Been there many times. There's several gas stations on the property. And I also want to highlight the car care center behind Magic Kingdom, you can actually return rental cars there. You can pick up rental cars there. They can help you with car issues if you've got a flat tire or need an oil change or some other general maintenance on your car. They can do it there. I've been a customer there many times um, just because I come to Disney World so much and have for a long time since I used to work here as well. Um, a lot of things have happened to me. I've had my car hit in a parking lot. I have um, had flat tires. I've had my car not start. All kinds of fun things have happened. And I always call AAA or flag down a cast member and then bring it to the car care center. And shockingly, it's not super expensive. It's not like they're gouging you Disney prices to fix your car. So far, because we're still on Disney property, I actually feel like I'm on a Disney bus. There's the Speedway and the Car Care Center. I don't know, should we take this detour? What are you feeling? And this is I-4. Greetings. It's got some yellow and some red on the graph here. It says 11 minutes to get to Universal. Plot twist, we're entering Disney Springs now and it's over by what is known as the we West Side Bus Loop. 
Now the busiest times to take a lift to or from Disney World and Universal is going to be around opening and close, but mostly close. Opening people tend to trick it, trickle in. Uber and Lyft drivers are just starting their day, so it's a little bit easier for them to get to and from the pickup areas and there's usually a few more drivers available still it's going to be a little busier than like midday the absolute busiest time to get a ride share is going to be the end of day after park close you might be in for a long long wait i have waited 40 minutes before at disney i've waited 45 minutes before at universal so you could be in for a very long wait Lyft and Uber both also have a wait and save feature where you can wait a little bit longer for your ride and save a dollar or two. This is definitely something we're doing. I don't usually recommend it if you're going to be heading out from a park because usually you're not going to want to sit at the lift station for a long time. But if you are heading out from your hotel at Disney World or Universal in the morning, doing the wait and save option can be a good thing to do. Save a dollar or two and still head out around the time you want to head out. All right, 25 minutes later and I made it to the lift drop off here at Universal. As you can see, it's located on the roof of one of the parking decks. So it's a little bit of a haul from here to the park, but that's true if you park uh, and drive yourself as well. So 25 minutes for $23, super easy. Now do keep in mind that regular lifts uh, carry three people. If you do have a party of more than three, then you're gonna have to go up to a Lyft XL, which tends to be a couple dollars more expensive, but usually it's like three to four dollars. Made it to actual Universal Orlando. It's right around park open, which is in like five minutes. And so it's a little backed up right here, but I actually came here two days ago to film something and it was kind of backed up right here and then as soon as you got past someone who was directing which way to go it opened up quite a bit one thing I would like to highlight though I always recommend staying at Universal if you can if you're coming over here because all of Universal's hotels minus one are walkable to the parks but all of them provide transportation um, and if you you also get early theme park entry as a Universal Hotel guest. So you actually can go in a, an hour earlier and get on some of the popular rides like possibly Velocicoaster or Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure TM. So the ride share people get to go to the left, which is where Quincy will be going. I am going to continue around to the parking deck. We're passing Volcano Bay and there's Cabana Bay and it would be really awesome if there's Aventura. It would be great if we were just getting dropped off right now. If it was just a single bus, that would this would be the best thing in the world. But we do have to go out of the way and transfer at the Lynx Central Station. And there's about an 11 minute wait between the two. So it makes it a little less ideal, but by Universal, see you soon. All right, just down two escalators from the roof and we are at the uh, parking deck that is closest to security, which is at the end of these walkways. I'm not gonna film security, but I'm headed to the Universal Globe, so I'm gonna head through it. I have to say, this is a really nice bus station. Is this the nicest bus station I've ever been in? It might be. Hello? Hello. How, um, how far are you? Oh, I'm uh, waiting in line at the toll plaza. Okay, great. Um, I'm here. I'm like at security. All right. No. Oh, sweet trap remix of Harry Potter. Uh, uh. Anyway, it's twenty-seven dollars to park here right now in standard parking. You can upgrade to the fifty dollars for Prime. That's a lot of money. I don't know how much Quincy's Lyft ended up taking or costing, but you know that plus gas, not inexpensive. A couple more pro tips. One, always have your pass or however you're gonna pay. And if you're using a pass, have your ID ready. They've always, every single time I've ever parked at Universal, asked me for my ID to confirm with my annual pass. That is not the same at Disney. They don't always ask to confirm when they scan my magic band. Um, but either place you wanna have your ID ready as well as your credentials or your credit card. And number two, always listen to the team member when they tell you where to go because it can get a little confusing based on if you're going to the parks or the water park, Volcano Bay, or prime parking. So listen to them when they say, go up the ramp or go to the left or whatever because I always see people confused. Um, also, another pro tip and personal pet peeve, 
please listen to the parking cast members. I know that maybe they're directing you somewhere you don't preferably want to park. Maybe you're going all the way down to the end and you wanted a closer walk. Maybe you think you don't like that parking spot or maybe you're just not paying attention. But please listen to the parking cast members. They are trained in a very specific way, a very methodical way of how to park all these cars. Just listen to them. It, it gets so confusing when people try and park where they want to park um, or don't listen to them. Or it's just, please park where they tell you to park. And if you have concerns of walking or of anything, uh, let them know before you get to the parking area. Let them know at the toll plaza. They'll tell you what to do. They are not going to make you walk too far if you're not able to. But just please listen to them. All right. It looks like I am indeed first to arrive at the Globe. So all in with my very short wait for a lift as well as my walks. Um, once I got here, my entire journey was about 40 minutes. 25 minutes of those were spent actually in my lift. So pretty quick. Now I wait. But I have the perfect activity for while I wait. Now here's my pro tip again. Make sure you capture where you're parked. Take a picture of it send that picture to someone do whatever you need to do but make sure sending it to quincy make sure you know where you're parked because there is nothing worse than after a long day just wandering aimlessly because you can't remember where you parked all right people are lining up our bus is pulling forward time to board and head over to universal and meet molly and quincy i wonder what they're up to now i'm sure they've arrived we will soon. I see somebody. I see somebody I know. Just waving. Oh, hey. 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 I was just about to apply sunscreen. I. That's a great idea. <laughs> I was going to buy Jaws merchandise. I almost bought the French shirt that says Pivot, that has the Pivot I saw that on walking it. in and I thought, an unusual choice for Universal, but I guess they own NBC. And I want that shirt. Which is who Something. debuted yeah. Friends. Uh, we're here. We made it to the Globe. We did it. We made it to Universal. Thank you to our 38 for getting us here now. There's the parking structure. We just have to figure out how to cross. Oh, I see right here. Actually, it lets you off closer than rideshare. Taking the Lynx bus gets you closer to the entrance than rideshare. Whoa. So 40 minutes? 40 minutes all in. I was uh, 53. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not bad. I didn't take my own advice and I, it took me a second to find my own car, even though I parked it like 10 minutes earlier. That doesn't surprise me. You are particularly bad at remembering where your car is parked. You'd think that going every single day to these giant parking lots you would remember, but somehow, no. I, I text it to people, I take a picture of the sp sign, and still somehow I'm like... If you're ever looking for Molly, she's probably wandering aimlessly yeah, around the C park parking lot. The car! We are definitely entering much closer than rideshare, much closer than the parking structure. So I was thinking we could like go get some ice cream, maybe ride Hagrid. Yeah, it's oh, we could it's try take forever. For the game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We could. I. You can finally try the Florian Fortescue's that I like, and I'll try the one you like. Yeah, you can finally try the strawberry peanut butter. And you ice can try cream. the toffee apple sauce. Let me just check uh, in with Reba real quick and see how uh, it is. Oh, they saved by the bell. Saved by the breed love. Look what we've done. We've gotten to you Universal got Studios. You got some things today. We did. So, oh, it, it, tell her, illuminate us. How was your bus experience? It was very pleasant, weirdly. Very spacious, lots of natural light. Honestly, the app made it really easy to buy a ticket. I'm, I'm not hyping links. Not for, an ad. Like, I'm, Hashtag no, not sponsored. I, I had no horse in the race. I to get that level of excitement for the lift but how was the lift experience uh it was good my my ride cost 23.45 okay which is cheaper than parking however if i was gonna leave universal today you'd have my to my option then becomes the most expensive going double of that all right if you're renting a car you might as well drive the car but if you're not worried about renting a car or if you're trying to decide to rent a car maybe don't honestly i honestly still probably recommend 
Ubering, ride sharing, lifting, mm -hmm. just because it's easier and not a hassle. You don't have to worry about parking and driving. But like we said, all three of these are good options. If you're balling on a budget, yeah. city bus. Yeah, and honestly, you all know my real recommendation is to go stay at one of the resorts here so that you get the early theme park entry and you get the, if you can if, uh, work it into your budget, if you stay at one of their deluxe resorts, you get the free express pass. So really, that's my advice. Is but then you might be doing this anyway the opposite direction if you want to go to Disney a little bit during that trip. True. So hey, the links goes there too. <laughs> We're headed into the park for some shenanigans. Woo! Thanks for watching our science. Now go watch our race from Magic Kingdom to the Transportation and Ticket Center after fireworks. Bye! See you there! He doesn't even say this. He says I so have to I have to say all the wonderful things. And he doesn't